Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is uh, Sean Hannity, world famous MSNBC correspondent, and uh, welcome back to the B Movie Cast, uh, a podcast where there absolutely hasn't been a 106 day hiatus. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, today, I'm joined by the, uh, the the usual gang, if you will. Uh, your, your your man your man Skyfall is here. Hello. Hello. And Hello. Uh, and uh, we've got we've got the uh, suck pappy himself, Deirdre Anthony. Hello. How's it going? And uh, today we're joined by a, a few guests that we, we kidnapped and uh, put into a bag and dragged away from their much more popular podcast, The Trending Topic. Uh, the, uh, the, the tongue man, I'm Alex, and, uh, and nondescript funny joke about overweight YouTube commentators, Aiden, as uh, uh, fucking Wild Spartans. I, I was going to call you a kind ale war, and then I remember that's, an, that's a different Aiden. <laughs> They're the same size, let's face it. My name's not even Aiden. It's not, it's not even your name. No. It sounds like Brandon. <laughs> it sounds like, look you know what, I'm just going to call you, know, I'm just gonna call you, you're just ale now. You're ale now. <laughs> okay. I, I give up. She's calling me okay. huge. Something that, we have to note, something that we have to note about our friends here, they are yeah. from a different podcast. Yeah. Uh, the Trending Topic. That's it's not as good as this one, though, no. is it? No. Oh, fuck no. no have no you chance. ever broken 17k views on <laughs> One yeah, episode. That's, that's I don't I thought. think so. I did it on another podcast, but we don't talk about that no. one. No, <laughs> no we don't. Uh, that was uh, that was not that, a, that, that was not a fun really. time. No, I didn't get to it. Let, let, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, if I could direct you all to uh, the Discord chat, we've got the uh, the JoeBlow.com script of the B movie oh, yes. once again. That's um, for those of you at home that would like to read along, um, we will have the link in the description as per usual, yeah. so you can read along with your family and friends um <laughs> we left off last on barry saying yeah let's shake it up a little when That's he great. was uh picking out a sweater mm -hmm. um, so, so good to be back here oh, oh man, yeah it's been, it feels it feels, feels so great. natural feels great i don't want to slip my throat with a bayonet at all right oh me neither i oh, actually man. printed out the um you printed the out the, you printed out the script. That isn't some next fucking level dedication. Oh well, I've but... always had it printed out, but I printed oh. the Joe wow. Blow. Oh wow! I, I find I find reading different websites just provides a different texture. Oh, I see. Oh yeah, yeah you get. I mean, the the different fonts that are used depending oh. on which website you visit. It it really just adds to the experience in my. And the page opinion. variant oh, too. I can just, just look at how many pages. Joe Blow. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's yeah. an atmosphere you just don't get anywhere else. And yeah, that's it's important. just it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I, I I don't I don't hate myself for bringing this back. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Harry, do you want to go ahead and uh, read from where we yeah, left for off? Sure. All right. <clears throat> Play the fight. Right. <clears throat> so we're going from uh, after. Yeah, let's shake it up, Lilia. Yeah. Yep. All right. Fantastic. He pinks the black and yellow one. This, that's ref in reference to the sweater. He then goes yes. to the sink, takes the top off a container of honey, and puts some honey into his hair. He squirts some in his mouth and gargles, then he takes the lid off the bottle and rolls some on like deodorant. That is... I, Anthony, I didn't know you made a cameo in this film. Apparently I did. Oh, um, hell yeah. I, uh, yeah, oh, that, that line, fall. for jokes aside, that line does speak to me on a very personal level, I'm as sure. you might imagine. Um, as I can yeah, imagine. I do have some ties to that, that sequence to in the, particular. To the deodorant uh, industry. Oh, That's yeah. Great. Um, I'd, ima I'd imagine Wild Spartans would relate to that, too. Being <laughs> fat, rolling around in honey. <laughs> honey is pretty good, to be honest. <laughs> to be fair, it is actually quite good, yeah. It's really sticky. It's the only downfall. Yeah, yeah. Gets yeah, in all the knee sharing. That's something that's really interesting about the the way it's portrayed in the film itself. You don't really get the the feeling that it's that sticky. Um, it, it it sort of feels more um, smooth. Yeah, yeah, more smooth, more. Um, mm. Well, that's more the thing inviting. With these. Definitely, it's yeah. like a gel. It is, it, it, and I like the versatility that it has. Like that sort of imagery there, like how honey is just used for so many different things in this film. Um, you know, I, you could, you could easily you, like look at that and go, "Man, I wish man could be like that and yeah, not we, have eighty different items for eighty different things. I want it all in one." It's a exactly. condemnation of the consumerism of modern society. Absolutely. Yeah. Man. I mean, we we have Seinfeld so many different products. 
we have so many different product options available to us. It's it's absolutely outrageous because we don't need all of this. We don't need this consumer driven mindset that's just making us chug along at this snail's pace without mm. any real fulfillment in our lives mm. because we're surrounded by meaningless mm. objects. Why can't we have this all in one that just lets us really have everything we need without and, all of that clutter and not just that it's the fact that it's self-made by the bees it shows the creativity that has mm. gone into this it's something that they've crafted it's something they're passionate about and it really comes show that if you can Amen. make it yourself and Amen, sister there's so much more value to it mm -hmm. yeah mm. They, I, I also think it's sort of an allegory to how seinfeld looked at this craft as sort of an all-in-one film as well um that th this was this was like the penultimate film like this was the film to end film because you know, it had everything you it needed all inside of it you didn't need to go anywhere else everything you needed was yeah. right there mm. you yeah, know um Moira. jerry seinfeld was actually thinking of casting kramer his friend from seinfeld as the actual container of honey he was going to say really he was going to he was going to say something like you've got it or something like that but after the um after the nigger incident yeah uh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember that one fondly all over yeah. the papers oh yeah no i remember it's a sad state of affairs i also think that perhaps it's kind of a, a, a an endorsement of socialist economic policy on mm -hmm. account of the fact that it's it's literally they're making the honey themselves so that they're building the economy themselves. And as, as you know, bees tend to arrange themselves in, in, in kind of commune-like societies. Oh, with so organized. I, I know, it's crazy. And um, that kind of organized society has parallels throughout history. You know, in the Soviet Union, you had peasant communes that were, that were singularly run by a unilateral power. And uh, in this mm -hmm. sense, it's very, much, it's very much the honey is, is kind of this, as you say, kind of this all, all kind of catch-all uh, item. And so it's 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 kind of the bees, the the bees are uh, 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 engaging in economic self reliance. You know the kind of thing that that Lenin probably would have jacked off to. So yeah, right. Yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. So definitely, yeah. Seinfeld is actually secretly a KGB saboteur. Is basically what I'm yeah. getting at. I, I could see that easily, especially yeah. with the environment he grew up with. I mean, those sort of themes were all throughout Seinfeld. And that's oh, something completely. we really haven't touched on is is the overlap between like Seinfeld and the B movie. I mean, the 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 amount of themes that just get sort of reused, but not in this sort of repetitive yes. rehashing, but more of an homage to uh, Seinfeld's roots. Well, um, there's, that was there's, the, there's the there's the Seinfeld theory. Where the they theory. believe that it is all in the same universe. Yeah, that is true. Um, I, 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 I don't know if that is factual. I mean, that that's an interesting bit of trivia and like something that's fun to wrap your brain around. Same thing with like the Pixar theory. I think yeah. it's people reading into the fact that so many of the themes overlap. Um, I, I think it, it's still more of just an homage film and not meant to actually be taken literally. Mm. I mean, we're, let's not be ridiculous when we're talking no. about the B movie. Absolutely. We, we don't want that. We, the we B do movie want to pay deserves us to being world. serious. It, it has a level of respect that is needed to be met, I think I know. is important. It's, as, as, any, oh. as any good work of art, it deserves, <laughs> it deserves a base level of respect. Fuck my it's, 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 Base it's level very of respect. Um, Brandon. You, you've been a little silent. Do you have any thoughts about... Um, you in deep thought about, about the script, so, mm -hmm. I guess. I just love the script. It's just perfect. I have I have no criticisms. It's just... Okay, okay well, hold on. We, we weren't here to, to that, criticize it. Yeah, we're not, not we're supposed to be looking into we're, the we're script. Analyzing. Yeah, that's the point of the oh, cast. I yeah, well, well, we're analyzing the... it. Oh, I'm just God, taking what kind of... everyone's saying, and I'm just... <laughs> I mean, beautiful. Did you, did, you not, beautiful. did you not get the memo there, kind or war, my friend? <laughs> it's kind of that's kind of the whole point of of the podcast. I mean, get the fat out of you is literally just just go back to Japan, mate, and maybe mm. maybe get some idea of what this podcast actually is, my friend. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of a little frustrated that you yeah. know, that you don't really have any creative input. Yeah, I, you're, genuinely, you're like, I am. Forth. I am. I mean, I'm just heard anybody. Point. Anybody I'm just got perfect. I'm about, yeah, I'm about exactly. to perform a school shooting in Minecraft at this point. That's how frustrated I am, honestly. Is there nothing that stands out to you in this script, Brandon? Nothing at all. Nothing. Brandon. Or B. 
Oh my the, god. Oh, oh, wow. oh, my oh god. wow. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so do you guys want to hear a story <laughs> about the trending topic? Go you for guys want to hear go for it. So originally, this was Alex and my idea, right? Yeah. So we decided that we wanted to create the trending topic podcast. And we we came to Brandon. Yes, we did. And 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 asked him if he wanted to be a part of it. And and he fucked us off immediately. Oh wow. He yeah, fucked yeah. us off. Don't mind straight away. Yeah, wow. he, he was just gone. And so we we were almost ready to find someone else, but then someone let us know that he was in a dark place oh, and that oh, he needed nice. someone to pick him up. And so we went out there. We reached out to his fat little face and we told him <laughs> that My we would help actually him. quite big. We would, yeah. we would help him and bring him on to the trending topic. And now, six months later, he fucking comes on to this podcast and makes Not a even his fucking own. mockery. You have no yeah, rights. You have no fucking right. Man. I like this the is, word B. This is this is a collaboration, this, and you know, this is normally meant to bring out the best. And, in Deodor that. Anthony is slandering me on the B movie podcast. Uh, you know, the I remember the it. Slander. Not slander Anthony. if it's based in fact. <laughs> Brandon, all right, let's point some out. He squirts some in his mouth and gargles. That, that's like you do a lot, don't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I know well, you're notorious for gargling. Oh, yeah. So, how, does that, how does that reach out to you? What yeah. does that say to okay, your script? Okay, you know what, Alex? I think that was a bit lowbrow. Yeah, that was some... Brandon was... Academic, respectful podcast, yeah. Alex. That, that sort of divisive language is... Uh, not not the kind of thing we're looking for, my friend. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I got heated something. myself as well. So yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's I not, think yeah. we all got heated. You know Generally what? Generally, that happens. You know what? The, when you're... the script really brings out passion, and it I think does. it shows. I mean, you know what? You know what, Anthony? You know yeah. what? Mm -hmm. I get a I get a Twitter DM at ten in the morning from a man who identifies as a stick of fucking deodorant. Asking, asking me, oh hey, oh hey, fucking B movie cast on the trending topic. That's a great idea. And then you come on here and you make a mockery, and you make a mockery of the sacred process. I'm you sorry, know, like not, I, I do take full responsibility for, Harry, I think for you Brandon need to calm and Alex. Down. I think you need to calm down, Harry. Okay, okay you, you to cannot calm tell down. my co-host to calm down. Now, but... now you need to calm down too. No, <laughs> this is getting a bit too heated. We're all okay. here for the how, B movie podcast how script, about, everybody. How about <laughs> Kind Ale War? How about this? How about produce some original content, mate? Well, here's the oh. issue. I never said I was original. Oh, the B true, movie actually. podcast is my passion, <laughs> and I, I will follow that. Okay. That was a good yeah, answer, Brandon. Says, that was a good answer, Brandon. You've says, redeemed yourself. Says the, man, that. says the man whose only oh, contribution Harry. to this discussion Harry. has been saying he Harry. likes the word B. I like the word B. <laughs> what can I say? Harry. That's why Harry. I like the podcast. He's, he's, so a, man, he's a man. Of sim man. He's a man of simple ideas. Simple tastes. Simple tastes. Yes. Fair enough. Fair enough. And that's why the black and yellow, black and yellow appeals to him. And Maybe. Because it's the color of the folds of fat underneath his shirt. <laughs> that was not even. That wasn't even clever. That was just insulting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being, at this point, I'm just being rude. Okay. Know, what even? We, you know, I, I think we. Someone should, else talk for a while. We we, we should think. do sort of a special treat. Um, Ooh. I think we. What we could probably do is is maybe read a little bit more of the script. We usually Ooh. don't get much further than this. No, but, yeah. I think I we think could we do a actually, special ultra episode. I think we can actually finish this page. We uh, actually have finished the first scene. Almost. No, oh no, yeah, we, oh, we, no, we did finish the first, the first scene. scene, but now we're we're going to oh, do yeah. a cut. A okay, nice cut, cut two. Someone do the cut two sound. All right. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> Internal Benson House Kitchen, hyphen continuous. Barry's mother, Janet Benson, yells up and Barry. Uh, does someone want to voice Janet Benson, or shall I do that too? Barry, breakfast is ready! Thank you for that. Uh, that was awesome. Do we want to pause there, excellent. or shall we move on? Yeah, I... I lot to unpack right yeah there. we right. need to i mean unravel. breakfast breakfast is standing out to me what would yeah. a bee have for breakfast well 
I mean, well, isn't that obvious? We we have kind of uh, discussed it a little bit. Um, yeah. I, I mean, wait, does he have sides? Breakfast implies multiples. Can mm. you just have honey for breakfast? Maybe Could he has be. a, maybe has it a side of sides. Well, you know, in Australia, we. we we whenever we have breakfast, we we say the saying, "Breakfast for champions." And you know that instantly pops in my head whenever I think of this scene, because in reality. Barry Benson, he is a champion mm-hmm. in a lot of people's hearts. He he's is. a god. He's, he's a I'm god pretty sure heart. even in Miss Janet Benson's heart, too. Mm. Well, well I mean, that's to be hoped, breakfast considering is she is the his most mom. important meal of the day, and Maybe. this is the most important movie of our generation. The most important Ooh, man. So it's, an, it's another one of those allegories I keep hearing about. The, these are, these are those? throughout <laughs> the film. Like, it's actually incredible how much depth and creativity was put into this. I mean, the amount of forethought. I mean, uh, we haven't even gone over the foreshadowing that yeah, we, we haven't see even scratched in these the, scenes. The surface, my man. It, it's it's fairly incredible how much there is present. I mean, especially in this bit. I mean, we we have Barry's mother, Janet Benson. She she yells up at Barry. Barry, breakfast is ready. Now you may think that's a bit of a cliche, right? I mean, there's there's always that waking up scene in films, right? But this is this is shouldn't be seen as like an overused cliche. Um, in fact, the way it's conducted, it's something I talked about in the last episode. It's it's that subversion that we see throughout the film, just taking expectations, flipping them on their head. So in this scene, we have that cliched anthony and then i think i think you've got this all wrong mate anthony i think that sounds fucking stupid i think that is stupid and all this yeah oh no i was gonna i was just gonna say he could have summed that up in a bit less time no no no, it was just dumb all together it was stupid i'm sorry i've never had i've never had somebody describe it in that way before and in all honesty it disgusts me i couldn't even keep listening it was that bad deodor run on sentency it's like watching one of his videos. Oh, oh, true. oh. true, true. Oh, okay. okay, hold on. This, first and foremost, I brought these two podcasts together because I wanted you guys to get along. Okay, not for this to just become okay, no, some sort of fucking these laughing. Two pod- stuff. You brought this podcast together, Anthony. I think no, so. I brought this podcast together. Oh, I see. Don't I know, twist no, my I fucking words. I don't. I, I don't think. Okay, you know what? Let's all calm the fuck down. No, you know what, Skyfall? You know what, Skyfall? You need to calm down. What? No, okay. Fuck you, Harry. Is. Harry right. is awesome. Hey, right. It's Sean Hanato. You need to calm the fuck down. Right. Guys, can we can we yeah. just calm down? Maybe yeah. maybe talk about the B-movie a little Don't bit. Don't you fucking Don't tell me start what to with do. me, Deodor Anthony. I will, I will set your house on fire. Literally. Guys, I'm, <laughs> this is... I'm not really equipped for this. Like, I mean, it's... <laughs> You're not it's equipped for this kind of emotional... It's, it's been a emotional. little while since we've done one of these, and like, yeah. I, I mean, like, I just I think, I it is pretty cool. quite raw. The emotions I are quite raw. I mean, like, I, I understand, like, this this does bring out a lot from all of us, but, um, yeah. We, um, uh, some more than others. Yeah. We uh, just CF brand channel like in a more be. constructive way. That's, Anthony, that's all I wanted to say. Anthony, okay, yeah. no, you know that's fair. Are you that's using fair. depression for sympathy? <gasps> okay, Ooh. all right, all right. Let me just, okay. let me just, let me just cut across there. Let me just cut across there. Okay, all right. Let me just fucking, Goodness. let me just, let me just jump in there. Are we, gonna, are we gonna cut from that? I don't th- instead of instead okay. of going instead of instead of going it that route, why don't we we'll go around the table? You know, um, I mean, I'll go first, and we'll, we'll finish with Anthony. We'll go through. Who is your favorite person in the B movie that we've read up to this far? Who's your favorite character and There's, why? There have been two why characters so far, Alex. But who is it? Oh, Pick that's one. A question. Pick one. The and tell me why. I want a detailed. I want. I want Alex. you to pick one and give me a detailed Alex. reason so why. Basically, it's a either bit... the main character or the person who has had two seconds of, of airtime. Nice. Janet Benson. It would probably be better if we did like the the whole film. Like we'll, we'll just sort of do like we'll say yeah we'll save that question. For well, obviously later. you're all experts in this. Obviously, film, so. oh, absolutely. 
Just well, so. I mean, again, I have every printed copy. I mean, my my PhD, movie. my PhD is in B movie memes. Yeah, so. and I've I've always uh, had a special place in my heart for it. Yeah, of course, it's true. So so have. let's go ahead. Uh, so Alex, you were going to start favorite yeah, character. Yeah. Favorite character. Uh, uh, obviously Barry uh, is uh, oh, obviously mm-hmm. he's uh, he's a character that there's no one like him, and mm. the characteristics shown. So I think everybody would like to see him himself eventually, and that's where I relate to him. He's a goals type of character, somebody you want to live mm-hmm. up to, and uh, I appreciate that. Well, of course. I'll say, I'll say you're a huge that. fucking faggot. I am, and that also <laughs> puts me on another level, a level of my sexuality, which is something that I appreciate that they captured that in such all a right. beautiful on yellow all levels black. except physical. Mm. That's that's so beautiful. I'm very interested to hear this this answer from Wild Spartans. Ooh, yeah. So, if w- Wild Spartans, Wild Spartans on YouTube dot channel. I like the milf. That being all right, great. you know what? You know oh, what? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good, good enough. Simple, that's good. You, you that's can definitely. I can definitely answer. relate to that. Yeah. Oh man, I wish I could. Wow. I'm a faggot. All right, Riley, you 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 could go ahead now. Yeah. Favorite. Well, character. coming. So it has to be out of these two, correct? Oh, you can do any character. Any character. Yeah, we'll we'll just. You're giving me a lot of free range there. You know, I could choose the commander. I could choose. Oh my god. Who who speaks to you? Honestly, I would have to say Barry. I know it's a. Ch- White Generic. boy faggot answer, but <laughs> I, I do understand that. It, it just speaks to me on multiple levels, and sometimes, you know, oh, it's it's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's okay, Riley. Real, right. Real friends. We have no, there's no judgment here. We've all watched the film. We all know what it's like. Yeah. Uh-huh. All of us. All of us have watched the film. You're right. We can yeah. all relate. Every single on a one level. of us. Every single Every, one of us watched this film. We Every wouldn't, single one of us. We wouldn't dare pretend to relate to you just for social construct. Yeah, yes, isn't that right, Brian? I'm not, I'm not only I... agreeing to be here because of the YouTube impressions. Okay, so, Harry, why, why don't you tell us your favourite character? I mean, my favourite character is also Barry, but I actually have a, I actually have a decent reason for why okay, Barry is my favourite character. Barry, Barry, is kind of, Barry kind of represents kind of the ubermensch. Of the film, you know, like he, mm-hmm. the 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 corporation tries to to force him into this kind of box, you know, this um, you're gonna do this one job forever, and that's 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 it, that's it. But he, he <laughs> constantly throughout the film espouses this kind of revolutionary uh, Wilsermarkt that that Nietzsche was talking about when he wrote his book, um, when he wrote his book Minecraft Let's Play episode eight hundred and fifty six <laughs> featuring Pyrocynical. Um, and it was, it was just, it, he, 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 he rejects kind of the, he rejects kind of the traditional role of the bee and, and tries to, tries to, tries to achieve a heightened level of spiritual and, and physical enlightenment, you know. Mm-hmm. Also, he's the main character and I'm too lazy to come up with an actual other character. So <laughs> I can understand that. Well, I, my, I think that's, that's, that's everyone, isn't it? No, oh, no, 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 we well, can't leave. We can't leave the podcast or, without you telling us about your favorite character. favorite character. You're gonna make Alex cry, Anthony. No, like, like you know, I mean, you do have a favorite character, right, Anthony? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, of, uh, of course. I, I, I yeah, I love, love the, I love the movie. So if I, I'd have a favorite character, wouldn't, wouldn't I? Um, Anthony, is there something Anthony. you can tell us? Anthony. What, ha- what happens on scene six? Oh, um. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, you know, I. I kinda, Anthony, Anthony, you are you scrolling? scrolling? Are you scrolling? <laughs> I, I, I just, I, I was looking for a refresher. Like, I, I just, it's been a long time. I don't even think seen you've it. seen the B movie. Has, oh. has Anthony, has this. <sighs> My. Ha- has it. And Has it all been a lie? Have you been go have get you, a time. bag? Have you been lying to us all this time? All this time, all two episodes <sighs> of the B movie cast. Oh, it's just. Yeah. Oh my god. Um. Okay. What? Uh, what what are so- you? I'm sorry. I I I've I've never seen the B movie. 
Are you a sociopath? You have got to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Me? Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Listen to me, cousin. Every buzzer must use. Be happy. Be happy. Thinking be. Now you've got no occupation. What do you mean, like pollination? Now. Start thinking be. Be happy. Thinking be. Thinking be. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry everyone. Uh, Can we stop here? Uh, Alright, fine. Look, I'm not making a major life decision in the middle of a huge sure. production. Oh, Alright, fine. Take care, everybody. Alright, see you guys. Yeah, yeah, too, man.